So like if you're seeing this video, that means you've got a video shoot coming up. So that's exciting. I'm just gonna go over a few tips on how you can be prepared and get the most out of your content creation session. First thing, let's talk about the pre-production because failing to plan is planning to fail. And I genuinely believe that, especially when it comes to content. You don't create great content by accident. Well, sometimes you do, but you get what I'm saying. There's four things I wanna talk about when it comes to the pre-production planning. The first part is coordination. Where are we shooting at? Who's gonna be involved? What are you wearing? Are there props that you need to bring? We wanna walk through those things and make sure that everything is accounted for and everybody and everything that is supposed to be in your video shoot is in your video shoot. Second point is the audience. Who are you talking to? Who are you creating this content for? Who is the end user or end viewer for what you're going to be creating? Third point is the message. Think about your content creation session. Do you need to have a script? Is it a podcast where you need to have discussion topics and maybe do some research on the person that you're gonna be talking to or the thing you're talking about? We need to make sure that whatever we talk about in our messaging, that in the first zero to three seconds, there's a hook that grabs your audience attention. Then you transition into the body and make sure that we hit on all the key points that we need to, to communicate effectively what we're trying to get across to our viewer. The last point on messaging is your call to action and extremely important. Do you want your viewer to like, share, subscribe? Do you want them to click the link in the description for more information? Do you want them to fill out a form to book an appointment in your calendar? Whatever that call to action is, we need to make sure that we include it and that's part of your pre-production planning. The last point is your distribution. I always like to say, start with the end in mind. Where are you going to post this content? Where does this content live? Does it live on your website? Does it go on your social media? Is it gonna be used for an ad? All of that is very important so we can understand when we go to create this content, what crop ratios it needs to be in, the pace and the timing of the content that we're creating. So think through these things and we're here to sit down and walk you through them when we do the pre-production meeting. Next, let's talk about storyboarding your project, which is basically just planning your shot list. We want to make sure that we can find examples to make sure that we can bring that vision that you have in your mind to your viewer's screen. A couple quick points on that is, are we gonna to need to capture additional B-roll or do we need to plan to get B-roll from a third party source? Are there specific shots that we are gonna need special equipment to be able to capture? Which brings me right to my next point, which is equipment and crew. So we'll definitely help you navigate the details of what's needed to bring your vision to life. Think about it, some video shoots are gonna require a full production team, right? You're probably gonna need special equipment like lenses, stabilizers, lighting, and other shoots may just require one person from our crew to come out and execute to bring your vision to life. Now this next step is where we pass the ball to you. Let's talk about rehearsing and practicing. If your video shoot requires a script, well make sure that you practice, familiarize and personalize the script so that way you feel confident in presenting on camera. I can't tell you how many times I've been in video shoots and the person that I'm shooting with feels a little embarrassed because they're stumbling through their lines, honestly just because they didn't take the time to practice. Now, it's not embarrassing for me. You don't need to feel bad. I deal with it all the time. This is what I do every single day. But at the end of the day, we want to make this an efficient use of your time. Now, if your content revolves around discussion topics or interviewing a person, you don't want to waste the time that you invested into a video production shoot, reading and researching. I would make sure that you take some time before you arrive to your video shoot, do your research and prepare. So that way, again, you feel confident and knowledgeable on the topics you're speaking of. Now, the last point is scheduling. Scheduling can be kind of complicated. Really depends on how many people are involved in the production. Now think about this. We have to coordinate your production team. We have to coordinate your schedule and any guests or talent models that you have involved with the shoot. We're very used to working with entrepreneurs, CEOs, influencers, high achieving people. So I want to prepare you. Make sure that you leave at least a two hour window for content creation. There are some unique shoots that we're gonna do that don't require that amount of time, maybe like an event where we're just running gun, pulling up to shoot. But for the most part, if we're doing a pre-planned produced shoot, make sure that you leave at least two hours at minimum for you to be able to invest into your content creation. I don't wanna feel rushed. I don't want my team to feel rushed and I don't want you to feel rushed. Ultimately, if we're not all in a relaxed, creative space, it's gonna affect the end product. So just leave that two hour window. Just trust me on that. So hopefully that was helpful. I created this video so that way you can feel prepared and confident about your upcoming content creation session. We look forward to bringing your vision to life and for you to see your brand through our lens.